I have a question for you. Are you feeling overwhelmed by all the self-care options, trends, and advice that's out there? Well, as a wellness coach, I totally understand. In this video, I'll guide you through creating personalized self-care rituals using two things, time blocking and your intuition. Welcome to the channel. My name is Crystal. I'm your go-to wellness coach and owner of Daily Ritual Boutique where I help busy working women just like yourself prioritize well-being and find inner peace through self-care and wellness tools curated and designed just for her. So today we're going to be talking about how to make self-care easier and full of joy and unique to you through time blocking and listening to your body, your intuition. I've done some of the heavy lifting for you. Not only have I created a free planner for you to map out your self-care rituals, I've also created what I like to call the Uniquely Designed Self-Care Plan. It's a personalized plan using your human design. I'll share more about that later towards the end of the video. If you need to, pause this video to download your copy and follow along with my process. The link again is down in the description box below. So the overwhelm and the not knowing what I should be doing really pushed me to take some time back to get back to basics and create self-care rituals that really brought me joy and followed what my body needed and craved, what my body was asking for. That was the first and most important thing in the process. I then looked at my day to see how I could easily implement these rituals and make them really work for me and my life. That can be busy and never changing. So I sat down and mapped out what I want my day to look like when it came to self-care. Literally wrote it on paper. And my wellness practices. And some of the things that my body needed and how to fit that into my day. Which includes a 9 to 5, surprise family emergencies, you know the drill, all the things. So a few rules to make this really work for you. I really want you to listen to your body and your intuition. Whatever that feeling is or message that instantly downloads, that's what you need to do. It's kind of similar to chocolate cravings or salty snack cravings. You get a feeling or a sudden, do I need this? Do I want this? That's what you need to follow. I also want you to have grace. Don't aim for perfection. Let the process, rather let your body and your intuition guide you. There's also one constant in life and that's change. All the things that change, seasons, jobs, friends, you, your age, your schedule, those are all changes. And so will your self-care and when and how you implement it. So be open to change. Nothing has to be set in stone during this process or followed to a T. All right, so now I'm gonna walk you through my form. Make sure you have yours downloaded. We can walk through this together. So let's take a look at the form. There's a bunch of different sections on here. Section one is for goals. Section two is for what I wanna do or what I enjoy. Section three, what do I want my morning to look like? And then section four is time blocking. So in section one and section number two, we're really gonna take the time to reflect and really, really dig deep and think about what my body or your body needs. What are you craving? What are you yearning for? What is your body saying and how is it speaking to you? So in section one, you're going to list out your goals or even some of those feelings. So for me, what my body has been feeling or what I really want to accomplish is waking up feeling refreshed because lately I've been feeling kind of stagnant and stiff. Slow mornings. I'm not going to rush into anything. I want to really take my time and ease into it. I don't want any stress, anxiety, or tension throughout my day. I want to improve my health. My body's really been craving sun and fresh air lately. It gets pretty dreary and cloudy on the East Coast and that's where I'm at. So that's what my body's been craving lately because I've been indoors and kind of locked in more than I should be. So those are my goals. So go ahead and take some time to think about that. What are you yearning for? What are you craving? What does your body need? Do you have these downloads or kind of like aha moments of, you know, what? I would like to do this. Go ahead and jot those down into section one. All right, section number two, what I want to do and enjoy. 
You're more apt to do things that you enjoy and they're more likely to become habits and rituals if you like them, if they're fun and enjoyable. So don't think about what you need to be doing. I want you to think about what you want to do and what you enjoy. So for me, I love being outside and walking, especially during the spring and summer and fall. Right now, again, it's winter, so might kind of have to rethink that, but we'll figure something out. I also love tarot and meditation. Tarot journaling and meditation is something that I've been doing for years. I love that, so I wrote that down. I also love red therapy, red light therapy. It's really become like a spa-like moment for me. I get my red light therapy box, take it into the bathroom, candles, music, and just play my music, light my candles, and then turn the light on and just relax and enjoy. Such a great spa-like moment. And then learning courses, education, Education is an underutilized form of self-care because when you know more, you do better, not only for yourself, but those around you. So I put learning in courses. And then if you've been following me, especially on social media, you know I love a good robe. And I love sitting in my robes and being lazy. I don't like having to get dressed up all the time, especially since I work from home. So I put sitting down in my robe. So those are just a few of the things that I want to do and that I really enjoy. So go ahead and fill in what you want to do and what you enjoy. Remember, not what you need to do, what you want to. All right, so now we're going to take sections one and section two and start plugging it into what we would like to see our day look like. Now you can break this up. It could be morning, afternoon, evening, or it could be your full day. And you just take these little things, your goals and the things you want to do and enjoy and sprinkle them in throughout your day. So what does that look like? Now, we're not going to get to the time blocking part yet. I just want you to kind of envision how it's going to look and then we'll refine it and kind of whittle it down in the time blocking section. So in section number three, what do I want my mornings to look like? So I'm focusing on mornings. Because most of the day I'm working and, or cooking and making my lunch or doing other things. So my afternoons are pretty booked, but I really want to focus on my mornings. That's also kind of what my body's been craving and needing and kind of those things that have been downloading and coming to me is mornings, which was in my goals. I want to wake up feeling refreshed, slow mornings. All right. So I decided when I wake up, the first thing I kind of want to do is... I want to stretch. I want to be refreshed because a lot of times I'm tight, a lot of tension. I want to feel grounded. So stretching. So that'd be the first thing. And then after I stretch, I get up, make up my bed. After that, I will put my robe on because remember I said I like to sit in my robe, put my robe on, ease into the morning, make my tea, and then feed my cat and just enjoy that. Maybe play some music put some incense on, and just kind of ease into the morning. Once I'm done and getting that all finished up, I think I will go wash my face, clean up, and that would be the perfect time to either do my red light therapy, kind of like a spa-like moment, or if it's really nice and sunny outside, take a walk. I don't think I'm gonna try to do it all because it's a lot to cram into one morning, so that will be an either or, I'll play it by ear. And then from there, I will do meditation. Again, I'm thinking this could be a lot to try to cram into a morning, which means anxiety, stress, just stress thinking about it. So I think my meditation and tarot, I'm going to opt for only doing maybe three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Because again, I'm trying to slow and ease into things, wake up feeling refreshed. I don't want any stress or anxiety. When I start cramming too many things into a morning, it's not going to work. It's stressful. So we'll try to opt for the meditation three times a week. And then from there, I will start my work day, my morning. You know, I should be good to go by then. That should take me from 8 a.m. to about maybe 10, 9, 30, 10. I think that's a good time to start actually checking emails and working. All right. So I kind of went through the process and mapped out what I want my mornings to look like. So I want you to do the same. Hopefully you're following along and you are jotting down how you want your either morning, afternoon, evening, or full day to look like. So take some time with that. 
And remember, it's a process. You want to work through this. It's trial and error too. Nothing has to be set in stone because some of these things that you lay out might not actually work and that is totally fine. You will find your rhythm and you will find the things that you really enjoy that light you up. Those are the things that you're going to keep coming back to. Those are the rituals that you're going to continue to do day in and day out. All right, now that we've kind of mapped out what we want to look or day or morning or evening we want it to look like, you're going to go over to section four and you're going to time block it. So you're going to put down by the hour, so eight to nine, nine to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, and so on. You're going to plug in basically what you just mapped out by the hour. All right. That way you know what you kind of need to be doing each hour. I don't get into the nitty gritty of like 8.15 to 8.30, just kind of free flowing a block, a chunk of time. That way you know you can set that chunk of time aside for that specific ritual. So for example, if I do get up at 8 a.m. and wake up, that's when I'm gonna start my stretching and kind of the morning ease in. So that also includes putting my robe on, drinking my tea, and feeding my cat tiger. So that's from eight to nine. That's what that block of time is. And then from nine to 10, I will do my wash up and my meditation. Oh, I also forgot. And this is where I'm like, just let it flow. It's a process. So 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., wake up, do my stretching, feed tiger, have my tea, and just ease into things, and then I'll wash up. And if I feel like doing red light therapy, I'll do it. If it's nice and sunny out, I'll walk. So it's one of the two. And then I should be able to get all that done from 8 to 9. From 9 to 10, I'll do my meditation and my journaling. So journaling and meditating usually takes me anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. So it's perfect. And then from there, I can start my day and ease into my work day, start checking emails around 10, really starting work by 11. So I've kind of eased into it. Now, I've also took some notes down and wrote some kind of like what ifs or if things changed throughout the process, what it might look like. Like if I wash up and I don't get to go for my walk and do my red light therapy, it could also be nice to do that around lunchtime or after lunchtime. So that's how the time blocking section works. And again, nothing set in stone. This is a process. All right, now it's your turn. Take some time to fill out the form. Then let's meet back here and talk about how it worked for me. So how has it been working? It's been a work in progress, but the process is working. So how do I feel after this exercise? Empowered, in control, some of that stiffness and aches and pains are gone. I feel grounded, reconnected, and excited and full of joy. Much better. One big thing is self-care doesn't have to look one way or be separate from each part of your day. Self-care is part of every moment of your day, so it's all encompassing. So how are you feeling about the exercise? Comment below. I hope it helped you create the self-care plan and rituals that can really seamlessly be implemented into your daily life and bring you comfort and joy. And if you watched and you're waiting for that bonus and you want to dive deeper and learn even more what works for you personally, your unique design, then check out the uniquely designed self-care plans using your human design. You're probably wondering, what is human design? If you don't know, it's a combination of the I Ching, astrology, Kabbalah, Hindu Brahman chakra systems, and quantum physics, all organized into a logical system. So you import your birth date, your birth time, and location into the human design chart on my website, also known as the body graph, and it computes and uncovers your genetic blueprint showing you what you should and shouldn't do when it comes to self-care, your own personalized plan. Make sure to check it out by clicking the link in the description box below. Thanks for joining me, and I hope this helps you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. I love to hear your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.